Okay guys, so here we are. This is MXGP3, kind of what we know or what I know. There's some screenshots, some gameplay, stuff like that. You already saw the first two trailers. The first one didn't really show us too much, and then they just released the two-stroke trailer here, which is really crazy. And the two strokes they have is they have the KTM 250-125SX, the Husqvarna 250-125TC, the Honda CR250R, and the KX125, which surprised me a bit, but it's really cool to see them in there. The TM MX250 and 125, and the Yamaha YZ250 and 125. Those are the two strokes we have. Here's some screenshots. Now, the first two trailers came from the Milestone website, the MXGP3 website. There's some gameplay in here. That came from YouTube. It actually came from MXGP3 gameplay. Just a little clip, a couple clips from some of the in-game gameplay. Now, it's a work in progress. I don't know how much they're going to change it yet. I'm sure it'll change quite a bit. But uh, this is what we have so far. So finishing up the screenshots here. And they're, you know, I actually have their website pulled up here too. We're running on Unreal Engine 4 this time around. And they're going to have dynamic weather, which you will see a little bit of gameplay from that. Now, it's not my gameplay. It's just uh, like right here. It's going to be showing with the rain and everything. It's going to have track deformation. Uh, I feel like the sounds are quite a bit better. But it does sound a little bit like, you know, like if you were riding, you were constantly pulling in the clutch and then hitting the rev limiter. It's a, it's a little bit weird, but, you know, in the bottom left-hand corner, it does say work in progress. So I'm guessing by the time it does release, it will be, it will sound quite a bit different. I feel like it's similar to MXGP2, obviously, but I think it's a, I think it's a step in the right direction. And, you know, if you look back to the first gameplay we ever saw of MXGP2, people were really unhappy, very unhappy with it. And then by the time the game actually fully released to us, it was totally different. So I'm assuming this will be be quite a bit different too. Now, there is some bumping in some of these little clips that I have here, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem like you're going to crash as easy. So maybe that will be a nice change of pace because I feel like it was too easy to crash. You just even got near the AI and you were... You were down, so hopefully they do fix that. We don't really see too much whipping, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a, you know, basically a dedicated whip button. I mean, I know it wasn't a button. It was with the analog sticks, but you know what I mean. Or if you're actually going to have more control over it. I kind of, I don't know why, but I kind of have this feeling that it's going to be more dedicated again. Now there, you know, you we do, it looks like you can make them crash pretty easy still too. And this looks like this might be the Italy track. I'm not really sure. Uh, in in rain and I'm guessing I think you're gonna be able to ride the track in rain or or dry so interested to see what that's like I don't know I I'm kind of reacting to this a little bit as I'm seeing it I haven't watched too much or you know gone over too much but here's the here's some more screenshots most of you have probably seen this if you follow MXGP3 whatsoever these were some of the first ones that they released to us. It does show them whipping, but again, it's in the picture, so you can't really tell too much. Also, I believe it is releasing May 12th for basically the rest of the world except for Canada and the United States. I think we get it. I don't know about Canada, but I think the United States gets it, or I know the United States is getting it May 30th, which is, people are kind of bummed because it's a little delayed release, but it used to be everyone else got it, and then we'd get it like two or three months later. So a couple weeks, we can live with that. I'm assuming... I'm pretty sure people on PC will be able to get it the rest of the time the rest of the world does, so I'll probably be playing it on Steam, as well as the reason I'm doing this, because I've been getting, getting a lot of questions asking me whether I'm going to play it or not. Yes, I am for sure going to play MXGP3. I'll probably be playing on PC, because I think it's going to release May 12th on Steam, and then consoles on May 30th, if I had to guess, so that's kind of what we know. And I'm assuming the customization, everything's going to be similar to MXGP2. We haven't seen, I don't, at least I'm not aware of seeing too much of that anywhere. So we don't really know what it's going to be like. But it feels like it's going to kind of take, take a, quite a bit. They're going to build from MXGP2. And I think they're going in the right direction. I feel like this is a good step forward. And we're going to wrap up the video here with just a little, little bit of gameplay from mxgp3 again work in progress so it's totally subject to change and i do feel like they have they're they're going in the right direction so good stuff uh thanks for checking it out again a lot of this stuff came from the official website but some of it did come from mxgp3 gameplay on youtube so if you want to see longer clips go check them out and 
you can get a little better feel for the game. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for any support you show this channel. It really means a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.